you say that the, the new Gladiator is built from the ground up, it is made as a pickup truck. It's not adapted from something else. It's got its own unique frame. Uh, the towing capacity on this is, is higher than anybody else in the class. Has so many unique features. And really, within its class of mid-sized trucks, I think it's, it's just, uh, it's, it doesn't blend in. And rightfully so, it shouldn't. Uh, our brand isn't one that really blends in. Hard to say exactly how long we've been working on this. It feels like forever. This happens to be the Rubicon version, and there's a lot of differences on the Rubicon. Uh, we went out of our way to keep the, the box side very low. A, you can easily access items on the inside. You can, I can reach over here. Also keeping the, the tailgate nice and low for off-road maneuvers when I want, want to look behind me. Tailgate is damped, drops down, and there's lighting inside, inside of the box. And there's two cleats here on the tailgate, so I can clip that in there, leave it halfway open. The box is five feet long, six and a half with the, with the uh, tailgate down. The uh, tonneau cover has a couple cool features to it. First, it has what we call this, the, the uh, weekend warrior mode. So I can simply flip this open, keeps the tension on it. I can put a two by four in here all the way to the front. It hangs out, but it's, I can leave the tonneau cover in place. Then the tonneau cover is, is a simple latch and then it rolls up to the front and then straps into place e easily here so it doesn't fly around. U unique here, the 33 inch tire. So we offer a, uh, a base all-terrain tire and then an optional mud terrain tire. It's a Falcon tire, brand new for us. 17 inch wheel and that's that's got a really cool sort of a unique uh, retro style to it. The grill we actually had to enlarge the grill for cooling. The, the truck demands so much more cooling for towing. Also new on the the Gladiator featured here is the off-road camera. So it's a forward-facing camera. It looks two feet in front of the truck for navigating obstacles. Shows up on the screen in the radio and actually has a, uh, a washer nozzle to keep the lens clean, so that's a unique feature on here. We retained the, the uh, windshield folding feature, so the windshield frame, again, is aluminum. Four bolts uh, to, to pull off of the top of the windshield header, pull the windshield wipers, and the windshield folds down. Why does the windshield fold? Fun things that don't have windshields. Surfboards, skateboards, mountain bikes, uh, roller coasters. It's just part of the Jeep story. We've always done it and I hope we always do. It's just a really cool function, but now it's easier than ever. The soft top, uh, unique to the, to the Gladiator that has a soft top and open air function. We've already taken the doors off. The soft top has two uh, latches on the header. You flip those and simply push it back. You can drive around like that with it open. Simply push it forward. It has these gas struts to hold it. Down, two latches and you're done. Doors are removable um, and we give you the tool to do that. It's a very easy operation to pull the doors off. Doesn't matter what level you get, Sport, Overland, Rubicon. Uh, there's, we give you a little tool kit and you pull uh, a screw top and bottom of the hinges and you, there's a quick disconnect on the wiring. The doors being aluminum are very light and there's a handle inside to lift them off. Rear seat storage has of course this, this large floor area here. This removable secure storage. A lot of people asked us for this. Do we get removable storage? It's lockable, uh, bolts into the floor here. It's removable with this large handle. It runs all the way through and, you, and there's dividers to, to divvy this up. Baseball bats, footballs, whatever fishing pole or whatever you want to put in here. And the seat flips down, revealing three child, child seat tethers and a removable uh, speaker which recharges and is Bluetooth. So that's unique. It's an option on the truck. The Overland version of the Gladiator, uh, visually a little bit different than the rest of the trucks. First off, the, uh, some of the details are picked up in this silver paint around here around the fog light. Body color fender flares, which are lower than the Rubicon. The Rubicon is higher, these are, are lower. Unique 18 inch tire wheel combination on this vehicle. The roof is fully removable. The front features the two 
freedom panels, those come off first, and then the rear cube, and that's again accomplished with the, the tool kit that we provide for the vehicle. Along the, along the bottom is a full length step assist. The uh, tonneau cover, which is fitted to the truck, it's a factory option, has the weekend warrior mode to it. Again, the, the uh, rear bumper, this happens to be the, uh, the composite bumper with a single tow hook to it. The name honestly comes from an earlier truck from about 1963. The naming process uh, took almost longer than it took to make the truck, and that's, that's really no joke. We did, go, we did go and look at the historical names of Jeep trucks, Gladiator, Comanche, Scrambler, and weighed uh, the possibilities of all of those. We looked at some other new names. In the end, Gladiator was the one that fit because it was, uh, again, our first full-size, uh, meaningful pickup truck. Finally getting something that we, we knew in our hearts was the right thing, enthusiasts. We listen to enthusiasts when we go to Moab. They tell, tell us all the time how much a Jeep pickup would mean to them. The timing is right, the truck is right. Uh, I think we have a very unique answer to the equation. It's a uh, uh, convertible truck at all time. We can convert it, doors off, windshield down, roof off. Uh, has, has a lot of great features in the bed. It just fits.